Hey there guys and welcome, uh, this is Desrin, otherwise known as Brad, and so today uh, I wanted to do, do a video, because I've been asked this by a couple of people, how to port, port forward a BT Home Hub 3.0. This can be for things such as uh, running a Minecraft server from your house uh, and other things along them lines. So what we're going to uh, set it up for in this case is for running a Minecraft server. Uh, so what you want to do is open up your BT Home Hub control panel for 3.0. Uh, you can either type in your home IP address, um, but if you don't know this then it's easy to resolve. All you do is go to start, computer, network, BT, and then under other devices will be BT Home Hub 3.0. Double click on that and it will open it up for you. So once here what you want to do is go to settings uh, advanced settings uh, when you go to settings, my, I'm already signed in so it won't ask me to sign in but when you go to settings you'll require your admin password uh, to sign in and once you've done that then click to advanced settings uh, continue to advanced settings port forwarding and then go to supported applications add new game or application so uh, you'd call it something like minecraft server um, I'm going to call it minecraft server 4 uh, just because I probably have more than one uh, where it says copy an existing game or application you want to click no so this doesn't apply to you anymore and then for the uh, protocol you want to go TCP the port range wants to be 25565 you want to do that through to all of them and then you want to add to that one then you need to, need to add a UDP as well which again is 25565 25565 255 255 five, five, five. so then you add that as well then click apply uh, mine's going to say this because for some reason my home hub's weird but it should save it uh, once it's saved it I just catch back up continue ah yes uh, once it's saved the new application what you can go ahead and do is minimize your internet browser uh, and then you want to go to start control panel uh, system and security windows firewall advanced settings and here you want to go to inbound rules add a new rule a port next uh, you want a TCP first which will be 25565 as we set it up on the home hub next allow the connection next make sure all those are ticked next and then you can call it what you want and set a description if you wish uh, I'm not going to do that because I already have once you've done that you want to go to outbound rules and yet again add a rule port next this time it's UDP and you still want 25565 here then you would click next uh, and just finish it all off the same as before once that's been done you can close this and reopen your internet browser now what you want to do once you're back here is go to home network find your particular device so in my case it's Desrin gaming PC uh, and you want to where it says port forwarding here at the bottom select the game you want to add in this case it would be your MC server then you would click add here mine won't let me due to uh, the uh, home hub being strange but it should apply and save it once it's done that you're basically set up to go what you'll have to do is download the server files from um, minecraft.net which is very simple uh, if I click by now no wait if I go to minecraft.net slash download 
Uh, it will be just here, minecraftserver.exe, just download that, it's only a couple of hundred kilobytes. If you can't run .exe's, run a jar. Um, and then you want to set it up. It will come default as 25565, so you don't need to do much. Just start it up, stop it, and then start it again. And once you've uh, done that, to find the IP that you have to give to people. It won't be this IP here for your home hub. It will actually be your um, IPv6, which the easiest way to find out is what's my IP into Google. Google will give you it, and then you pass you can pass either this on to your friends or you can add the 25565 and pass that on to your friends um, and then once you've done that you'll be ready to go and you'll be hosting your own server on minecraft yeah so thanks for watching guys i hope this has been helpful in uh making your own minecraft server for people to join uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one